Why did Android 15 not come back to life? Some fans for years have wondered why Android 15 did not come back while Android 17 and 18 did. Well today, I'm going to tell you. To understand why Android 15 did not come back, you must first understand the difference between Android 18 and 17 and 15, 19 and Dr. Zero. Now, what I really want to point out here is that 17 and 18 are unique from all the other Androids because they are human, like you and me, or Yamcha, or Krillin is a better example, but they have been modified and converted into Android, and they are humans that were obviously kidnapped by Dr. Gero or Dr. Jiro in the dub. Because they're enhanced, because they're just enhanced human pretty much, it is quite obvious in my opinion that they would have the ability to one grow stronger and two to be brought back to life because they're still part of partially human. Think about it. When Krillin and 18 had sex, Krillin was able to get Android 18 pregnant. This is proving 18 was still partially human. Goku even bring this up. Like how can an Android get pregnant and Krillin responded with they're partially human. This is why, when the Z Fighters used the wish to bring back all those that were killed by Cell, it brings back 17, and we noticed because we saw him with a, with a gun trying to get the two people to lend energy to Goku from a Genki Dama during the Majin Buu arc, which is one of the worst arcs. But that's another video as a whole. But, so, I've, I've, I've been talking about the Android 1718 for a bit. Now let's talk about 15. Android 15 is robotic. He is fully robotic and 100% mechanical. That means he doesn't have a soul. So, he doesn't go to Otherworld when he dies. The way it appears, that, what, the way it works when Shenron brings him back is he goes and he like asks, the, I guess, the soul. He's like, hey, you want to come back? And you're like, yes or no. Now, the reason I say it appears that he has to ask them is because Goku refuses to be brought back Twice, uh, in the, uh, after, he refused Perunga, bring him back after Namek, did he want to, uh, stay in faith. He pretty much flat out said, no, Perunga even said the Saiyan Goku refused to return. But that is not the point. The point is that when Shenron is asking them, they, they, they would have said yes and they come back. Well, there's nobody to ask. There's no soul. When it, is destroyed, he's gone. If his memory and programming is destroyed, you can't bring him back. Now, I assume since the Dragon Ball can grant wishes, you could use wishes. If you, like, knew multiple wishes, you could, like, be like, you could wish for, like, a copy of it, all of his data, and, like, put it into a computer, and you could rip wish for it to work a certain way. You could do that, most likely, but they didn't, because that would require multiple wishes. The point is, is that they, Android 15 didn't come back because while 17 and 18 are mechanical, he is robotic. It's actually quite simple. But I'm going to make this video to clear up a misconception because some people think he didn't come back really. I don't really know why they think that. They don't really, they don't really know why he didn't. Some people say it's a plot hole. Well, it's not. 15 can't come back because he's fully robotic. He's mechanical while Android 17 and 18 are not. But God, the whole this video helps you out, and you were confused about why Android 15 did not come back in Dragon Ball Z. I hope it answered your question. So remember to please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and also follow me on Twitter. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day.